Hello everyone, it's Primetime Off and I'm here with your retro review for the year 2000. Now, when I'm picking these, I'm, I'm sitting usually going, right, what body in my collection do I want to review this week? What? Let's do that, let's do that. Yeah, you've seen me in the Beast Wars ones where I've, I've sneaked two in because that I couldn't choose. This year's a bit easier because I only have one toy from this whole year and that is... I'm not going to even say it, it's anything good, but uh, that is... Hold his legs together. Beast Machines Optimus Primal. So, um, I talked about it in the main episode. I had a couple of them and um, they didn't last. I wasn't, I bought at the very beginning, I remember going a bit crazy and, and buying them because it's, it's Transformers. I kind of, at that point, certainly, um, I was just excited to have more Transformers on the shelf. So, I was picking up things like uh, Night Scream and Supreme Cheetor and stuff. And they didn't last, I didn't keep them. Um, I've kept this guy mainly because he's Optimus and I've always had a wee bit of an Optimus collection of examples. I want to like him. I really, really do. Um, there's colourings on him, like the blue translucent is just lovely. The kind of green you can see um, on his kind of brain. Um, and you get the light piping through it, it's kind of funky. There are aspects of it that I can see that I like. But for the vast majority of it, I'll be honest, it does not, uh, does not a good toy. So let's um, try and transform it. Uh, and I have prepped by practicing this, and I still kind of struggle because I kind of go, "Where did this spot go again?" So let's let's work through it. So you know, the, ch the challenge, I suppose, with Beast Machines is that aspect of like. Simon talked about it, the, the show has some really interesting designs um, and aesthetically I think the show's really nice. Having re-watched it post um, Bob Skeer interview, um, I enjoyed it a hell of a lot more this time round. And I think there's, I feel the same with uh, Armada um, as well, that at the time I was probably wanting, I was probably wanting what comes next actually, but I was wanting something that was more... Um, Either stick with Beast, Beast Wars, because I thoroughly enjoyed Beast Wars, I'm a big Beast Wars fan, so I really enjoyed Beast Wars. So stick with uh, Beast Wars, give me something like Beast Wars, or give me something that is totally different. I'm trying to remember how to do it. I was trying to get this to work. I can't remember how to do one of the, the bits of the gimmicks of this. And I'm, oh, is it that? A bit of this I'm not getting. Right. And the practice for this and the wee bit for this I try to master this again and really struggled with it. So you'll forgive me if it's not perfect. It's not a perfect toy in the, in the first place to be fair. I kinda think that's it. I think. I think that's it. What's well, close enough? The bit I can't get work out, I can't remember how to do the, the connection so that I can open his chest up because he's got the, the symbol like we had in the, the, the last of the Beast Wars stuff that shows that he is a maximal. Can you get it for me? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to force it. I'm going to put it back in the feet table, but we'll then leave him. So, there are aspects of these that are really cool. As I say the, the colourings of them, the green, the blue. I do like the the, the um, clear plastic, but it doesn't invoke the show, first and foremost for me. It doesn't invoke the show, and it's not really a fun fun toy. It's kind of like a cool wee bit of parts of the gimmicks, but it's not great. So, this is the first one of all my reviews where I'm a bit like, uh, it was a challenge to push myself to do this. Almost, uh, <laughs> I was like trying to decide if I could find another way to do something different to just do a Magnetron universe. I uh, didn't obviously I thought it was it was worthwhile to kinda of still do it. So that is Beast uh, Machines. I nearly cheated and did cargo bots as well. Uh, but this is Beast Machines, Optimus Primal, not the best toy, not one that I would recommend <laughs> unless you're an Optimus Prime collector or somebody wants to hurt their self. <laughs> but we have to experience these like that's a bit that Going through uh, these aspects, there will be stuff that you'll pick up through the years and go, 
oh, I remember why I don't like that. And that's okay. There'll be other aspects, like when I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to Armada, because Armada's a, a, a show that I probably felt the same, similar feeling with, uh, as I did with Beast Machines, that I bought piles in them at the beginning and then sold them, because like, ugh, this is not what I want. This is not what I'm after. But now I look back and actually really enjoy it. So there are aspects that um, you'll look back on fondly. I think the show holds up far better than the actual uh, toys do. Um, but that's my opinion, I suppose. Uh, there'll be people out there going, oh, I love this toy. Um, and good, well played, well played. So that's the retro review for this year. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week.